workshop tonight. This is my wonderful woodworking shop and this evening I want to talk to you about a couple of unique tools that I count a privilege to have and use and to be a part of my collection of tools in my workshop. Um, these are unique, they are one of a kind or an, basically unlike anything else out there although I think you can still buy them uh, but they're unique to me, I'll put it that way. And the first tool I want to show you is for uh, bolts. It's got uh, all the different size um, bolts, holes on one side and the smaller ones on the other. This has really been a unique tool over the year to have. It's very versatile. You can carry it in a small pouch. It's got a good grip to it. It's not heavy heavy, but it is certainly do the job of tightening down bolts. And uh, this has been a unique thing. Instead of big long cases full of different bolts and uh, to uh, bring, uh, all you got to do is bring this and you can tighten anything you want. Uh, also, this is not necessarily a tool, but it's usable in the workshop. These are cast iron, uh, wrought iron nails. They kind of look like they belong in a western project, maybe a mountain project. Look at the, look at the heads on, on the top. These make a beautiful project and you can stain right over them. They still stay black. They come in different sizes and a lot of companies out there uh, buy them. Look on the internet under wrought iron nails and or rustic nails and you'll see what I'm saying. Uh, we've used different sizes of these over the years and this has been a wonderful unique thing to have in my shop. Also as a part of uh, some items I have here, I have a fence uh, pliers. This is really a dandy project or excuse me, a dandy tool that I've had over the years. You can, if you're working on a fence, you have a um, a horse you're going to take along a fence line or maybe a uh, all-terrain vehicle perhaps uh, you have one end that will pull the wire and you can use the other end as a hammer there's ends there for cutting down here over here and here for gripping and uh, you can splice wire with it you can do anything you want this is for working on fences along uh, the back side of a piece of property perhaps uh, I have another tool here that's really been neat, something I discovered some months ago. Uh, in making a rather large table for my daughter, I discovered pocket hole, uh, pocket holes. Uh, what you do is you drill these pocket holes in a piece of lumber, and then you can go at an angle and put a screw up to the top. Can you visualize that as a skirt around a large table? And uh, here's the jig right here. I bought this at um, Lowe's. It's made by Craig and it looks kind of odd but what you do and here's the drill bit for it it's very sharp almost razor sharp on the sides there what you do is you put this here let me grab another piece of wood here we go you take a piece of lumber and then you mark where you want your hole and then there it is actually like this there you go Mark where you want the lumber, uh, the hole, and then you can put a clamp on it right here. Clamp it down. Then in the hole over here, you take your drill bit and screw through right here. And when you do so, it's going to come out just like this. It's going to you're going to screw right through that, back it out. Then when you run your screw through, it's going to come all the way into here. And this is adjustable. And again, it's a very uh, very nice tool. They make different variety of sizes and um, types. This is by Craig again, I bought over at Lowe's Home Improvement Store. So those are some of my unique tools. I'm not sure how often I'll use the pocket hole jig, but uh, when uh, the need arises, I will probably use this um, fence pliers a lot more. This is my most unique tool here though. This is the Bible and this has been a unique tool because it is one of a kind. It's the only religious book that has been sent to us by God. This is God's revelation. He sent us this book to show us who He is, what He's like, and how we can get to know Him. Read it today to be wise, to have understanding, to grow in wisdom, and may the Bible be your book to direct your path. This has been Wisdom from the Carpenter Shop, unique tools that can help you, especially the Bible. Thank you. Bye.